So a very warm welcome to Mr. Ahmed Raja Yusufi and Ms. Rajya Gelani. Sir and Madam, welcome to our show. Thank and we you. really missed having, uh, we missed uh, not being able to meet you over the last couple of weeks on this forum. So we'll try to make up for that with uh, more detailed insight from your side. So welcome again, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. So our first question would be, uh, in light of this very complex crude oil market scenario with the oil Brent coming back below 100 and uh, despite yesterday's OPEC plus uh, quota cut announcement by 100k barrel, the prices continue to hover at about $95. So do you think that the markets are oversupplied and where do you see the prices moving from here? Okay, thank you, Mr. Pranav. Um, right now, the news in the market is too much. The market has started rising demand uh, with a trend on the September, uh, on 2nd September Friday, but it still seems that the brand could or cannot exceed more than 100 US dollar. Uh, the reasons uh, that uh, led and to increase the oil price are that the, uh, the new treat by the Russia, Russia will not open the Nord Stream pipeline uh, as long as the sanctions are not lifted. But I think that uh, we need more time to see what will be happening in the market and what's the effect of this news on the oil and energy market. Also, the G7 countries have planned to determine the price level for Russia oil. And the gas from company threatened not to, to export uh, its oil to the European countries. And uh, near to the uh, uh, autumn season, it seems that uh, somehow a treat for the European. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the other factor that uh, is that about the cut of the 100,000 barrels per, per day by the decision of the OPEC last night, uh, that uh, uh, we should it will be effective from the October 2022, but uh, we should wait to see what will happen. But presently, it's not clear that the crude price can go higher, more than 100 US dollar or not. But uh, what we can understand is that the OPEC decrease production is a small quantity, and it doesn't seem it can be attributed to the oversupply of the crude oil. It seems that the market might have a different signals, and uh, we cannot also exactly mentioned that is any oversupply happen or not. So in balance, would it be safe to say that there is a limited upside potential on prices from where we are today? Thank you. Yes, there is a limitation for the also the increasing and decreasing on crude oil price. Okay, thank you, thank you. So okay. coming back to the bitumen side of the market, we have seen a big jump in the packed bitumen prices to $415 per ton last week. So do you think uh, these prices are going to continue or there might be some correction? Uh Steel was following the downward trend in the big and till the end of actually August. And uh, Iran, based on this uh, downward trend, Iran was expecting a, a decrease of 10% on magnum modern prices. But since Friday, uh, we, say, we see some uh, positive signals about the improvement of crude uh, prices uh, up to 13 US dollar, and it continues for several days, even up to $10 by today. Uh, the latest announcement of micro modern price in Iran has not been released yet, but it is expected to be out by the end of today or tomorrow morning. Uh, and we need to wait and see how much fall will happen based on the pricing formula in Iran. Of course, uh, we shouldn't uh, deny the other effective factors like the ambiguous uh, situation of JCPOA negotiations in Iran and also the demands that are being received from other markets. So maybe we have to wait and see how will be the reaction of market to these uh, contradictory signals of uh, in follow up between prices, follow up back in the price in Iran market, and also the effect of uh, the currency exchange in Iran and the demands that are being coming from other markets. 
Thank you. And also the demand signal from the big market like India seems to be very strong and positive. Mm -hmm. yes. So we all yeah. hope that uh, this will all lead to good uptake in prices and production and demand. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your insight. And we look forward to further such discussions. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you.